Hello everyone. I'm so glad you're with us for our children's Bible lesson number two. Okay. And for this one, if you've got your Bible with you, and I hope that you do, Bible check, Bible check, open your Bible to Genesis chapter two. Genesis chapter two. In Genesis chapter one, we learn about how God made everything. God made everything, and when he was making things, he would say that it was good. That God would make this, and it was good, and God made this, and it was good. But in Genesis chapter 2, God looks down upon what he has made, and he said that there's something that was not good. He looked at Adam and said, it is not good for Adam to to be alone. In fact, it says it right there in verse 18, and the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. So it's important to know this, that God has never intended for anyone to be alone. And instead, God wants you to have someone else in your life that'll help you in certain things to, and, and encourage you to do things. And so uh, God, in this case, made Eve for Adam. And even to this day, God has worked out things for us so that we will have other people in our lives to help us. And so most of you may have a brother or a sister or a mom or a dad or a friend, somebody in your life that is going to help you so that you don't have to be alone. We have two new little critters at our house. Their names are Honey and Bubbles. And they are two ducklings. Now there's something that you need to know about ducklings. Ducklings don't like to be alone. And so when you get a duckling, if you were to go to the store and get a duckling, you need to get at least two ducklings because ducklings don't like to be alone. They need a buddy and they need a friend. And so we got honey and bubbles and watch this. Whenever we walk someplace and one of the two ducklings goes there, the other one goes too. Why? Because he doesn't want to be by himself. That not even ducks like to be by themselves. In the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 28, at the very end of the Gospel of Matthew, in the very last verse of that book, Jesus is talking to his disciples and he gives them what's called the Great Commission, where he says, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. And notice what he says at the very end of Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20. He says, And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So, not only does God say that, that it, it's not good to be alone, not only does God give us people in our lives to be our friends and to be our helpers and to encourage us, but also God says himself, I am going to be here for you. Know that you're never alone. I'll be with you always, he says. And so I just wanted to point that out to you this week to let you know that if you have friends in your life, if you have parents in your life, that they are a blessing from God and that we should embrace and love our friends and our family. But then also know this, that God loves us dearly and is willing to be here for us himself so that we are not, we are not alone. I hope you have a great week and uh, take care. Practice the songs. Practice the songs.